Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am home. Before we get started, please consider liking and subscribing. So it has been almost three months, I think, since I posted a video. It's been like 77 days or something. Anyway, it's been a long time. I've been gone for the entire summer. If you didn't see, I was at a sleepaway camp that I work at in the summers in Vermont, and I just got back like two days ago, and I'm currently sitting on a pile of clean laundry because I'm currently trying to clean every single item that I brought with me. Yeah, camp was awesome. It was definitely really difficult. Um, just because like everybody had been away for two years and we obviously couldn't run camp last summer. So this summer it was a lot of like getting back into the swing of things, but it was so incredible to be able to have like normal experiences and be like in a group of people like singing songs and like, I don't know, it was just, it was the most incredible like experience to be able to give the kids a sense of normalcy after everybody was like in remote school and everything just to be able to be like in the woods together with a group of people and just like enjoying time in nature together. It sounds really cheesy, but it was a really good time. Uh, I am back with all of my plants, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you don't, the link is in the description down below. Um, I was posting a few updates here and there because I popped home for a little bit. Uh, there was a few different circumstances where like one time I drove the New York City bus full of kids um, at the mid-season of the summer uh, and I was able to stay at home for like one night. So I was able to see my plants for like a night. So I saw some people being like, hey, could you do like a reaction video as you walk into your room for the first time after three months? So I was actually here a couple times. So I don't think that that would have like the same shock factor because I did see my plants and I my mom actually did FaceTime me a couple times, like just so that I could see my plants. And so... There is a lot of differences, but it's stuff that I've already seen, but you guys haven't seen it yet. So I'm not going to be going over that in this video. I think the next video that I make is going to be like a, the biggest updates that have happened in my collection since I've been gone because there are some major differences. I think you can already see some of the madness that has happened. Um, in general, the health of the plants is pretty good. There is unfortunately a mealybug outbreak that has occurred not the end of the world no plants are actively like dying from it it's just like gross and annoying but my mom took care of my plants for the entire summer my dad would come in here and turn the lights on every morning and turn them off every night because I wasn't able to figure out how to make the smart plugs work before sorry Katie is texting me um I wasn't able to make the smart plugs work before I left so my dad like manually turned on the lights every morning and turned them off every night and he was like I'm the light guy and I was like thank you and my mom watered them and took care of them and all that stuff but they went like three months without a real pest treatment because that's kind of too much to ask for my mom to do um is to like carry them into the tub and spray them down and like treat them like that also I'm sorry if I touched my hair a lot someone commented that in my last video and was like can you stop touching your hair and I was like it's still sort of a new haircut and I'm still getting used to it, but it's more, I'm more used to it now, except I'm going to keep touching it. Um, yeah, so my mom like watered my plants the whole summer and I think we only had maybe one casualty and that was something that was a propagation that just didn't end up sticking, which she was like, I'm so sorry this one died. And I was like, it was honestly just a leaf in soil. Like it's, it's fine. Um, I think that was my philodendron billy tie, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's another weird thing is that I'm gonna have to like get back into the swing of knowing names of stuff because while I was gone I like wasn't really looking at plant Instagram, wasn't really watching plant YouTube because I'm when I was at camp I was working from 7 30 a.m until 9 30 p.m and then by the time the day was over I was exhausted and going to sleep. So uh yeah I have been sort of like away from the plant info for a while so if in future videos you see me being like uh, it's me trying to catch up to remembering what all this stuff is. Uh, but in general, the plants are doing great. I will definitely have to do some mealybug treatment. Katie said that she would help me treat some of the mealybugs. Um, yeah, Katie says hi to everybody. She will be in videos upcoming soon, I'm sure. Um, she did help me water my plants when I was here. That was very sweet of her. Um, what else? We I did get rid of a few. I will say the day that I was here. In the middle of the summer I was looking around and for whatever reason it must be that they're like more attracted to it or whatever but the Adansonii that I had I think I had two different 
two different Avinsonii and my Monstera Deliciosa. I got here, I was laying in my bed and just looking at the vines because those were some of the ones vining on the ceiling, covered, absolutely covered in mealybugs. And I was just like, you know, I could go through with a Q-tip and try to take all of these off, but I simply can't do it. And I was like trying to figure out in that moment how to deal with it when I was home for like literally less than 24 hours and just like trying to sort it out. I was just like, I need to just get rid of those. I'm sorry. It sounds bad, but maybe if they were more valuable, I would have tried a little bit harder to, to keep them. But it was just like a regular form Adansonii. And unfortunately, my Monstera Deliciosa that I got when it was like this big. Uh, that one has been struggling with mealybugs for a long time. So for whatever reason, the mealybugs really like to attack the Monstera. I don't know what it is. It's probably some something. I'm not going to try to guess. Uh, but instead of trying to deal with those, I just composted them all. So it's funny because you can't even really tell. Like they were here. That was one that was here. And I got rid of it. And my ceiling is still pretty viney and pretty, pretty lush. Um, I'm sorry if I'm looking all around. I like haven't really spent time in my room since I got back. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm excited to be making videos again. I think I'm going to go back to my twice a week schedule. I think maybe if I can do more, I'm going to try to post more often. Let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see from me. Because in the spring, if you guys watched that whole dramatic emotional video, I graduated from college. And so for the last year of like pandemic times, I've been a full-time student from home. And so I was doing my channel while I was a full-time student. And so I sort of had time dedicated to other things, but I would really love to make videos more often. If there are any recommendations or like topics or anything like that that you guys ever wanna know, the comment section is one of my favorite places to go. The whole summer I would go to my like YouTube thing and I can refresh it and see just like the most recent comments anywhere. And I would go and I would be like, oh, who's watching old videos? And then I would see people being like, commenting on like my third or fourth video ever being like rewatching Tate's videos while I'm gone and so if you guys commented on that even though I didn't respond to your comments I was seeing them and it really like made my day to be up in this whole separate world at camp and then refresh my YouTube comments and see that people were still were still were still watching my stuff which is really sweet and ugh, I just love you guys so much we also passed 5,000 subscribers while I was gone I think we're almost at like five 5,500 subscribers now, which is crazy. Um, so many things. I am very excited to come back. Before I left, I made a list and I was gonna try to shoot, I was gonna try to pre-record videos for the whole time that I was gone. Very glad that I didn't do that. It would have been extremely overwhelming, but now I have this whole list of videos that I was gonna shoot, that are like ready to shoot, that I can now make for a future. So, if there's anything that you guys ever wanna see from me, at all in general, uh, please let me know. I'm very excited for this new chapter with you guys and for my channel, and I'm excited to treat these plants from really bugs so that I'm not looking around and ceiling <laughs> seeing all these bugs. But yeah, that's where I'm coming from. That's what's going on. Um, I used to have an outro, didn't I? Wow, I, <laughs> I forget what I used to say. I guess we're starting something new. Um, consider liking and so yeah. I think that's what I used to say. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, thank you for watching. Oh my God. It literally, when I say I have been out of practice, I have not talked to a camera. I have not looked at my reflection for three months. This is weird. Anyway. Okay, subscribe and like the video and comment anything. Just say hi. Okay, it's nice to be back. I missed you guys. Goodbye.